So uh, that's our six items, Michael. Anything extra to share with us? I, man, I, I got something for everyone. I got two things, actually. Uh, one follow-up and one new thing. First of all, uh, we had Calvin on a while ago, a couple shows ago. Was that last show? Show before? I think a couple shows ago. And we were talking about secrets. And he also, he's in your camp. He doesn't put them in the notebook or in the right there in the source <laughs> code. He's doing something else. But what he talked about is actually using 1Password as like a vault, right? So 1Password has awesome encryption and security. And so the, a lot of the challenges revolve around, well, if I'm going to put them somewhere else, if I just put them straight in the virtual into an environment variables, well, people can grab them there. So maybe I want to put them some other place where it's like encrypted or something, right? So he talked about his mechanism of finding all those environment variables at launch and then like just as you run your virtual environment, injecting them there, but storing them in one password instead of just on the file system or something like that. So he did a blog post about how he's doing that. And so I'm going to just link back to that. Yeah, nice. That looks pretty cool. And also I want to give a shout out to Talk Python, specifically the last episode, at least the time of recording, it'll probably not be by the time we publish this, but nonetheless, just recently you were a guest on Talk Python where we talked about 15 awesome PyTest plugins, mostly a few extensions like using with or alongside, but mostly PyTest plugins and went through things like PyTest Sugar and Freeze Gun and all sorts of fun stuff. So if people can't get enough of us, they can hear uh, you being a guest over there talking about PyTest the entire time. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, that was um, fun. Thanks for coming on there. I like to hear myself talk so much that I also, uh, we cross posted that on uh, testing code as well. So, yeah, sounds good. If you have, and, and one of the things, so as an extra bit, um, I did, did, did you know that I wrote a book? Um, yes. Anyway, yeah, I've heard of that. No, it's a great book. I have it. It's a good one. Well, so, um, I, I published through Pragmatic Publishers and, um, I just wanted to bring up that Pragmatic has a shiny new website. So um, the Pragmatic site is a little different, and there's an FAQ up there if people uh, want to know why or what's different about it. Um, and for the most part, it looks a lot the same to me, but the entire back end <laughs> is different. And uh, Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's faster. So. Uh, faster is always nice. Makes it happy. Nice to work with. All right, I have a joke. Um, let's pretend uh, we're, we're roommates. You can be the first person, and I'll be the second person, okay? okay? Okay. Okay. Stop by the store on the way on. <laughs> stop by the store on the way home from work. Please stop at the market and buy one bottle of milk. If they have eggs, bring six. I came back with six bottles of milk. <laughs> Why the hell did you buy six <laughs> bottles of milk? I just said two. It's just the two of us. <laughs> what do you think, man? Because they had eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, taking this programming logic a little strong, right? Stop by the store <laughs> if they have eggs and get a bottle of milk. If they have eggs, get six. Cool. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, pretty good one. Huh? Takes, a, takes a little bit of thinking, so glad we have it uh, written down for people. Yeah, yeah. We can go back and study it, right? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a bunch, huh? Cool. All right. Thank you. Yep. Bye.